Those are actually inaccurate. They allow for like a 20% room for air. Hi everyone, I am Jen and welcome to my channel, Genuine Nutrition, where I am helping you become your best self through better health, through intuitive and intentional living and eating. Uh, for today's episode, I'm gonna be talking about the three most common lies about calories you need to stop believing now, all right? So if that sounds good to you, make sure you hit the subscribe button so that you can stay tuned for my next episodes. Um, but for today, let's get into the three most common lies about calories you need to stop believing now. I'm gonna keep this pretty short and sweet. Um, I have my notes here because I know I could talk about this all day, um, but I have to have my notes so that I can stay uh, concise and succinct with everything. Um, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but I am really excited to be talking to you guys about this because this is important and I really want to get this information out there so you all can stop worrying about calories because that's that's not what you need to be worrying about. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so the first thing is where did we or how did we start becoming so consumed with counting calories, right? Um, well, it really started in the 80s when the workouts and uh, the diet culture and diet mentality kind of exploded. Um, you know, with your workout videos, your fad diets, everything, you know, from A to Z, right? Don't eat this, don't eat that. And I think that's really where it exploded was in the 80s from the diet culture and mentality and really making you and it's a marketing ploy really making you feel like something's wrong with you and that you're wanting to needing to buy things that you don't necessarily need um and then also to making it feel like there's like unrealistic and unsustainable you know images that you should be living up to right so that's really kind of how it all came about with the concern about counting calories okay um but here's the thing that you need to know calories are actually good for you okay and i'm going to get into that in just a second um because i'm going to debunk these myths about calories that i want you to stop worrying about calories okay so first of all i want to make sure that you understand that you know the popular trackers my fitness pal um, the Apple watches, those are actually inaccurate. They allow for like a 20% oh, no. room for air. So what you think that you're actually burning or consuming versus calorie wise is not actually correct, okay? And then also the FDA allows for a 20 to 30% room for air on the back of your food labels. So basically what you're reading on the back of those labels is not actually accurate as well, right? So they allow for a 20 to 30% discrepancy or room for error on the back of the food labels. So my question to you and just everybody in general is why would you worry about counting something that is one just a hassle to deal with right like who wants to count calories? I don't. Um, I've done it and it's for the birds okay um, and also <laughs> um, that's not sustainable like when you've done if you've counted calories before you not you know it's not sustainable because it just feels like a burden right and then not just that it's like it's inaccurate so what you're counting is not the complete you know totality the picture of what you're consuming okay so there's no reason to count calories um, I improve my clients are proof and a lot of people are uh, a whole bunch of other people are proof as well all right let's go the three most common lies that you need to stop believing now about calories so lie number one calories are bad for us and the lie detector has determined that that is a lie okay so calories are actually not bad for us i'm going to get into that in just a second so i think the reason that people are kind of afraid about calories is one from the industry like i said earlier um the marketing poise and techniques to really get you into thinking that calories are bad and you need to restrict them which i'm going to talk about later um, but it's also not knowing what calories are a lot of people don't even know what calories are guys calories are just a unit of energy and it's the energy that we need to stay alive so our brain our muscles every cell in our body needs energy um, and i want you to think about your body as a vehicle because without 
energy, which is food, fuel, calories, um, then we can't go far and we won't go far and your car, your vehicle is not going to run properly. Okay. So calories are not bad for us. I want you to think about the quality of calories, which is what I'm going to get into a little bit later. So calories are just a unit of energy energy that we need to stay alive our brains our muscles and every cell of our body needs energy and we can't go or do far without them because if you like most of my clients they say oh i hit a road or hit a, a wall in the middle of the day well that's because they don't have they haven't eaten any energy so you need energy to have energy okay so think quality of calories not necessarily calories in totality are bad for us because they're not and we need them okay and actually carbs are your friend too okay so carbs which you know breaks down into sugar glucose that's our main source of, of energy and we need those as well so carbs are your friend don't be afraid of carbs. We need them. Again, it's just the quality of carbs that you're consuming that makes the big difference, okay? So let's go on to lie number two. So lie number two is that you need to restrict your caloric intake to lose weight. And that's a lie as well, okay? The lie detector has determined that that is a lie, right? Any of my Maury people? <laughs> so listen, that is a lie. You don't need to restrict your calories. I'm pretty sure you've heard of the old adage and really most doctors, um, traditional, conventional doctors, they still recommend this. It's the whole eat, eat less, move more mentality. And that's not right because if that was the solution, we'd have a lot more healthier people walking around and that's not the case, okay? My motto is, eat more work out less because again if you understand what calories are they're energy and you need to eat more all right to have energy plus movement and working out is only five to ten percent of the equation not 20 it literally is only five to five to ten percent of the equation nutrition and lifestyle um behavior patterns and choices are really what makes the difference okay so um the more you move is the more you, that you need to to eat so the less you move the less you need to eat right and this kind of goes into i'm not gonna really get into the numbers but your basal metabolic rate is really what you need at rest and then that's your baseline calorie caloric intake is what you need to be consuming and then obviously when you add movement or working out to that, then you need to increase those calories, right? So again, the more you move, the more you need to eat. The less you move, you don't really need to eat as much, okay? So, and then it also goes back to like 2,000 calories of quality, you know, nutrient-dense food, and 2,000 calories of nutrient-lacking food are not the same. They're not equal, okay? So 2,000 calories of foods that are packed with vitamins and minerals that actually assist you on your journey to better health. And then also um, that help you actually lose and maintain your weight and they're giving your body the appropriate calories or energy that you need versus the nutrient lacking 2000 calories that don't provide any nutritional value. They're high in sugar, high in fat, and they actually make you gain weight and high in preservatives um, that uh, actually yeah, make you gain weight. OK, so preservatives, sugar, fat, all of those things. Right. So calories are not created equal. Two thousand calories of vegetables, uh, fruits, whole foods, and then two thousand calories of fast food and junk are not equal. OK, restricting your calories, greatly restricting your calories is not good. So that goes to line number two, which is you need to restrict when you greatly reduce or restrict your caloric intake. Again, think of your car as a vehicle. Um, your body is not getting the proper food and energy and vitamins and minerals, antioxidants that it needs to run properly. So if you are not giving your vehicle what it needs, it can't go far and it's not going to run as efficient. OK, so again, think of your body as a vehicle because it is OK. You wouldn't drive from point A to point B without putting gas into your car. So I really don't understand why people think that they can go from beginning of the day to the end of the day without proper uh, fuel. OK, because again, what are calories? Just a unit of energy. OK, nothing to be afraid of. All right. So lie number three. Lie number three is calories will make you gain weight. And that's a lie. 
lie detector test determined that is the lie okay so again going back to the quality of calories um, I've gone six years without counting calories I've been a high performing athlete my whole life bodybuilder for four years qualifying for nationals and I've done the whole calorie counting working out like crazy six seven days a week and then I've also done not counting calories for the past six seven years um, and really doing more um, yoga and Pilates and I've been able to maintain my weight and figure without counting calories okay so calories do not make you gain weight again it's the quality of calories okay so high quality versus poor quality again 2,000 calories of nutrient dense food is not the same as 2,000 calories of nutrient lacking food okay that have no nutrients at all so again I haven't counted calories in six years um, it's the foundation of my programs I follow intuitive and mindful eating and it helps transform my clients life and it's transformed my life okay so calories do not make you gain weight if you're eating fast food crappy food then yes you're going to gain weight if you're eating good quality nutrient dense food then you're giving your body what it needs and it's either going to maintain or you're going to lose because you can lose weight just by your nutritional and lifestyle changes alone all right working out is not working out is only five to ten percent all right so the thing is you just need to change your approach and your mentality because I know you've been bombarded with all of this information about how you need to restrict, restrict, restrict. Calories are bad for you. Eat this, don't eat that. Again, it really goes to mindful, intuitive nutrition and eating, really listening to your body and knowing what your body needs. And that takes practice. You can do it, but it takes practice, okay? So I want you to get off the diet mentality, get off the diet hamster wheel, and it's really harmful, right? Like, and also, don't try to eat just to lose weight. I teach you how to eat for life. So eat for life, okay? Not necessarily for weight. Eat for the betterment of your health, okay? So here are four things that you can do instead of counting calories, all right? So four things you can do instead of worrying about counting calorie, calories is love your body and give thanks for your body, okay? Your body loves you. Your body just wants to love you in return, but you got to love it back, okay? And give thanks for it. So when you are talking bad or negatively about your body, your body can hear and sense that and feel that, and it, does, it doesn't feel good. So love your body. Give thanks for all that it does. You breathe on your own your eyes blink your lungs expand everything like your body is amazing so give thanks number two portion control practice portion control i'm sure if you haven't heard already eating on a salad plate versus eating on the main dinner plate that is a great way to eyeball your portions and making sure that you're staying within the realm of not overeating and overextending yourself okay um number three listen to your body and eat intuitively okay so allow your hunger hormones to work uh, with you instead of against you okay and then also knowing if you're eating out of hunger or if you're eating out of emotional or stress okay because those are two different um, symptoms or, or um, whatever I can't even think of the word right now right but just learning to eat intuitively and learning to eat mindfully that really does help with your so you don't have to worry about counting calories okay and then four eat real whole foods that don't require a food label huh right so if you're eating a banana an apple an orange these do not require a food label and uh, you don't need to worry about counting calories because it's whole real food from the earth okay so those are four things that you can do instead of counting calories love and accept and appreciate your body practice portion control listen to your body um, eat more intuitively and emotionally i mean no don't eat more emotionally sorry <laughs> eat listen to your body and eat more intuitively and then eat real whole foods um, that don't require a food label all right so if you are ready to take you know the next step and if you need help with changing your relationship with food and developing better eating habits. I have an amazing 90 day holistic nutrition food guide that is in the description that you can go and check that out. It is great. It's not a journal. It really is a guide to help you learning your body and what your body needs because that's why diets don't work because everybody's body needs different things. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this clears your mind about calories and why you shouldn't be afraid of them. Go eat, 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 eat. Like I said, my motto is eat more, work out less. And again, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't be working out because that is obviously important, but it's only five to 10% of the equation. So eat, all right? Make sure you like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date for my next episode. And I will see you next time. Bye.